Hey guys, welcome back. So today I'm going to be doing my junior wrap-up. Um, it has been a pretty good reading month. Not Definitely not as good as May was. Uh, if you saw my May reading wrap-up, you'll see that I finished 20 books in May. Um, which is definitely higher than normal for me. Um, so I didn't definitely didn't read as many books this month. But I'm hoping that July is going to be a good reading month. Uh, because I have Summerween in July as well as uh, this new TBR that I'm trying. Uh, if you saw my... Actually, this is going to go up before that. So my next video should be my July uh, TBR. And you'll see how I chose July's TBR, uh, what books I'm reading for Summerween. So July, like I said, should be a better reading month. Um, yeah, let's get right into it. Let's get into the books that I read in June. Okay, so the first book that I finished in June was Just the Nicest Couple by Mary Kubica. And I will add the covers up here. Um... This is the second book I've read by Mary Kubica. The first was, uh, I think it's called Local Woman Missing. I read that, I think, earlier in the year. Um, both were okay. They were okay thrillers. Um, good about, like, kind of keeping you on, on the edge of your seat. Uh, what kind of kills me for these is, like, the end result. Um, the end, like, twist. Um, it is a twist. Like, it's not, both times it has been something that I didn't see coming. But neither time was the twist something that like blew my mind. Um, to me, it kind of feels like both both uh, twists or both like end results were kind of um, almost like the easiest option, the easiest resolution. Um, it's never anything really like wild or like beyond belief. Um, it just always seems like the the safest choice. Um, so both times now, um, like I said, I think the twist was kind of in your face. And yes, I didn't, even though it's in your face, I, did, I didn't expect it. But it, I don't know, it just didn't surprise me the way that I felt like it should have. Um, there were other, especially with Just the Nicest Couple, I kept expecting it to go one way. Um, and thinking that there was going to be this one reveal and this one, like, truth bomb dropped into the book. And it didn't happen. Um, I was wrong, it didn't happen that way. But I feel like if it had gone the way I was thinking it was going to, it would have been even more of a twist. Um, it would have been more of a, like, just implosion of everything that you had read so far in the book, and it would have been more of a surprise. Um, so yeah, it was good. Gave it three stars. Uh, a good, like, edge-of-your-seat thriller. I just don't love the end result. Uh, the second book is Into the Light by Mark Oshiro. Uh, I give this four stars. I really enjoyed it. This is um, another kind of mystery thriller. But it involves um, a cult, it involves like extreme religious groups, it involves um, like conversion therapy and um, homelessness, homeless teens. Uh, it's queer. Um, I really enjoyed it um, the whole way through up until the last like quarter of the book. Um, and reading other reviews, it seems like a lot of people felt the same. Um, it's contemporary, so it's very much like our world, things that we can relate to, things that we see in our own society. Until it gets that last little bit and all of a sudden it throws in this like weird, supernatural, like completely like unbelievable thing. Um, and then just kind of, and then just kind of never explains it. Um, like, and I get like paranormal stuff like is uh, un unexpected, unexplained unknowable but usually like if it's a ghost like we understand the concept of a ghost if it's a demon we understand the concept of demons we understand the concept of possession this supernatural twist twist was just kind of thrown in there and then never explained never um given any like background or history as to how it happened or how it could have happened it was just kind of like here let me throw this in and it just threw the whole story off um it threw this like curveball with the supernatural element and then still just kind of ended with a happy like happy ending and again like never really explained anything um so I just I really didn't like like I said the last like quarter of the book if it wasn't for that if it had been more of a natural like reasoning or if there had been a different kind of twist uh there was an opportunity to talk about like mental illness it could have been like a um like dissociative identity disorder type of like a split uh like if you see the movie split it could have been something like that and explained it that way that would have been a lot more interesting um 
but the supernatural element just did not work and I didn't love it, like I said, at the end of the book. So it could have been a five star. Um, everything else was really good. There's two different POVs, um, one from a homeless kid, um, teenager who lives, uh, or who is, uh, like transient and is hitchhiking his way through California trying to find his sister who has been like taken into this cult and the second POV is from within the cult and, um, both POVs were very good. The ones at the cult, it was very isolated. Uh, you could really feel the tension and like the fear of the other kids and just the way that nobody within the cult, just the way that nobody in the cult could like answer any questions and just gave these like roundabout circular answers that never really answered anything and how they had all been like brainwashed. Um, so those parts were really good. It was just, like I said, that last like quarter that just threw it off. So yeah, um, I definitely want to read more books by this author. I'm going to definitely look into it. I do still recommend the book. Um, just go into it knowing that the last part of it may not be as good as the rest. So then the third book we have, it's probably my favorite book I read this uh, month, is Astro Parker Doesn't Fail. This is the second book in the, I think it's called the Brightfall, Bright Falls series. Um, this is the sequel to Delilah Green Doesn't Care. Uh, I really enjoyed this one. I really liked seeing uh, Astrid um like learn like the fluidity of her sexuality uh start to kind of experiment she doesn't really experiment but just kind of learn um that maybe she's uh kind of learn that maybe she's not straight and what i liked about the book is that she didn't like really fight it she fought the the idea of the person that she was attracted to the woman that she was attracted to but she never really fought the actual sexuality like her her all right, she never really fought her sexuality in and of itself, um, and I really enjoyed that. Probably because the way the the story is set up, she's surrounded by a group of friends who are all queer, so she feels that protection. She's familiar with that kind of uh, identity and being and lifestyle, and so it's not like she's completely surrounded by people who are gonna oppose it, who are gonna be against her. She knows that she has the support, so I think that plays a big uh, part into it. Um, but again, I loved the family dynamic of this, the friend dynamic, the found family aspect. Um, I love all these characters. The next book is Iris. Kelly doesn't date, and I'm super excited for that one because Iris is my favorite. Is my favorite of the girls or the women in the friend group, so I'm excited to get to hers. So yeah, this I gave four stars as well. Okay, so then the next book I read was Double Pucked. Um, this is a Why Choose uh, like hockey sports romance. I liked it. Um, I've read other ones that I think were better, um, but this was good. Uh, I didn't love the, like, misunderstanding at the end. I think it was, like, too easily resolved. It wasn't really necessary. Um, I just didn't love that part of it. Uh, but the rest of it I liked pretty well. I thought it was good. Uh, there were some spicy scenes that, it was kind of a mix. There were some spicy scenes that were definitely, like, on the page and there and then there were some that were faded black so i didn't really love that part of it uh i feel like it's usually like one or the other either you go all in or you fade to black um but like i said it was good but the writing wasn't fantastic and it didn't like blow me out of the water or anything so three stars then the next book um is actually an arc from um uh a like bookstagram book tour that i'm part of so i'll be highlighting this book on my um bookstagram on the 27th uh, or by the time this goes up, I'll have already done that. Um, this is Don't Say I Do. This was really good. Um, this is about two best friends who have known each other their entire lives since like kindergarten. And one is very outspoken and outgoing um, and doesn't, like doesn't take shit from anybody and has always defended the other one who is shyer, quieter, uh, has a little bit more like self-confidence issues, doesn't like confrontation, that kind of thing. Um, and so they kind of balance each other out and the i don't remember their names but the one uh, best friend who is more outspoken, she's about to be getting married it's actually the day before her wedding or like the weekend of her wedding and um it's all it, this whole like book takes place within like one day uh it is basically the best friend who is not getting married who is the maid of honor trying to write her uh best uh, her maid of honor speech and as she's trying to write this speech she's having all these memories and um just remembering all the things that her and her best friend did growing up and all of these times they spent together and as the book progresses she starts to realize that maybe her feelings for her 
uh, best friend are not platonic um, and maybe she has romantic feelings to her, towards her and then everything progresses so um, it was good it wasn't uh, like great I, there wasn't anything that really like was like mind-blowing or outstanding I do like the concept of kind of the whole like plot line of the story being in memories and being the main character um looking back on all of these things and so everything you're seeing and reading is as in the past and things that have already happened um i did like that aspect of it that was different i didn't i don't think i read anything like that um and then like all of a sudden everything comes to the present and you see like the results of all the memories and everything she had so i really enjoyed that um like i said there wasn't really anything about it that was outstanding enough to put it into four stars so it was good i do recommend it uh like i said it was a pretty quick read um and it was a nice sapphic quick book it was good uh so then the next book um i have actually talked about in my mid-year book freakout tag um and this is yellow face by rf kwong um this i had really had hopes for this i read babel early in the year um everybody as gives our Kong so praise and I do want to read the poppy war but he talks about how good the poppy war is uh and so I know this and then it's not it's just a human like playing a prank or something I hate that um so that really kind of pulled me out of the story and killed it for me um also what the big twist ended up being what the big reveal was I saw it coming from like the middle of the book uh I had a feeling the whole time that that was what was going to happen uh in the villain of the story was going to be the villain of the story so i wasn't really surprised um also the ending of the book was left open-ended um there was no real like resolution the main character was never uh there was no like retribution there was no consequence really for her i mean there was some but it was just kind of left open and i hate those kind of books um i like to have like a everything wrapped up in a bow even if it's not like perfect and neat or even if it's not a good outcome i like some kind of outcome so there you have it those are all the books that i read in june like i said not as good of a reading month as may um but still decent overall i'm still ahead several books ahead in my goodreads um challenge so i'm happy with that like i said hopefully july will be an even better reading month with summer Wayne coming up and the tbr that i'm doing and all those things um so i really hope you guys enjoyed this let me know if you read any of these what did you think of them uh please like and subscribe down below and i will see you guys in the next one